Welcome to Jesco here on YouTube. This is an Atlantic Ocean Watch channel. Um, be sure after you watch this video to check out my main channel, Atlantic Ocean Watch, where I do affordable watch reviews. But here on this channel, Jesco, we're going to talk about a really cool lighthouse, the Seven Foot Knoll Lighthouse. Now, this lighthouse is in Baltimore Harbor. Um, and unfortunately in my time there it was closed and looking at the website it's going to be closed for the foreseeable future but I still want to tell you something about it because I like lighthouses the seven foot knolls lighthouse has been manned by keepers and families of the US lighthouse service and of course later on the United States Coast Guard it remained in operation until 1940 Eight. Uh, she's located uh, right around Pier 5 in Baltimore Harbor, not too far from the famous U.S. Coast Guard Carter Taney. Inside, she's got a lot of different um, artifacts. Um, she has um, all kinds of information about Chesapeake Bay also inside from what I've seen in, in red. Uh, and different articles and things I've researched about this lighthouse. Built in 1856, she is one of the oldest lighthouses in the Chesapeake Bay. Now, when you go to the lighthouse or walk up to the lighthouse, you're going to see, like I said, it's, it's uh, late January 2023. Um, the mailing address is 301 East Pratt Street, uh, Pier 1, Baltimore, Maryland. The telephone number is 410-539-1797. Now, this lighthouse, when you purchase tickets uh, for the lighthouse, um, also gets you access to the historical ships uh, that are in Baltimore Harbor, such as the Taney. Uh, USS Constellation, the light ship Chesapeake, and the submarine USS uh, Torsk. As a matter of fact, if you get on any of those uh, vessels, uh, you will have access to the lighthouse when she's open and the other historic uh, ships that are in Baltimore um, Harbor. Now, obviously, the lighthouse isn't a ship in and of itself. Uh, but you know, that's that's how that works if you're a military or a veteran like myself You do get a, a discounted rate um, And of course you can contact them about group activities and things of that nature But uh, unfortunately not too much I can tell you about it from my own first-hand experience because again, unfortunately um, it was closed uh, when I was there uh, Not too too long ago But I'm going to read you a quick excerpt from the website. It says, A keeper's duties at the lighthouse. The duties of the keepers were often routine, but nonetheless essential. Each night at sundown, the beacon light was lit and had to remain so until sunrise the following morning, a task which required vigilance and regular maintenance. Each morning, the beacon lens and lamp were thoroughly cleaned and made ready for use that evening. In times of fog, the fog, fog bell had to be sounded continuously, which required winding the station's bell machine every 45 minutes until the fog lifted. This just gives you guys an example of how difficult it was to man this and many lighthouses. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, video. It was uh, challenging to make because I was trying to do more of the historic ships and lost a bunch of video file footage. I had uh, some kind of a technical error and lost a bunch of video of the other ships uh, in the harbor. But this is my main channel, um, Atlantic Ocean Watch, 
on YouTube. Check it out when you get a chance. Uh, I do affordable watch reviews. Atlantic Ocean Watch on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Truth Social. Check it out. Also, while in Baltimore um, Harbor, I also visited the Taney. Um, hopefully, um, I'll have a chance to get some footage of the Taney and some other ships to make up for the footage that uh, was lost when I had a technical error. But if you're in Baltimore um, Harbor, check out the last surviving ship from Pearl Harbor, the Taney, uh, that was there during the December 7th, 1941 attack on Pearl Harbor. Uh, it was in Honolulu 8 miles away when the attack took place and the Taney did engage a Japanese aircraft uh, at Pearl Harbor. Thanks for watching Just Go and my main channel Atlantic Ocean Watch. Again I'm Atlantic Ocean Watch on TikTok, Instagram, True Social, where I do watches and other stuff. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.